Well, what is going on, guys? Back with another video. And today's video is the review on Reading versus Sheffield Wednesday. The reverse fixture ended up in a 1 1 draw. Hopefully, after last game's disappointment, the lads have it in them to get a result here. But first, let's see what the lineup is looking like. In between the sticks today is Wildsmith. The back four is Palmer, Lees, Bona, and Yurigida. The midfield five today is Harris, Hutchinson, Bannon, Shaw, Windass, and then the one up top is Callum Patterson. Our subs today is Jackson, Dunkler, Penne, Pelopese, Brown, Reach, Kachunga, Marriott and Rhodes. I still think we should play Dunkler instead of Bona and Rhodes instead of Patterson because the amount of chances Patterson battles is too many. And we need to take them in crucial games like this. So hopefully we can get off to a good start. And the first half we could dominate. So let's see what it has to offer. Well, we are 1-0 down. And the scorer of the goal was Alise with a penalty. We was playing alright up until the red card incident. We had a couple of corners that were dangerous. And the ball even went into their net. But the ref disallowed it. I don't see what for. Tom Lee's just leapt up and he did nothing really, I don't think. I think it was a good goal, to be fair. Yurigidi's playing with confidence, step overs galore. But hopefully he does sign a contract because he's getting too confident and getting a good price tag on him. But he can go for nothing, which is ridiculous. And of course, the thing that ruined the game was, of course, the penalty and the red card. The Reading player... I forgot who it was. Threw on goal. Should have shot, really. But he was waiting for the contact. He knew what he wanted to do. He got Bona to slid in. And, of course, he got the red card. Both teams have had very good chances to score more goals. But it's only 1-0. So that means we could come back. But, of course, the 10-man is quite hard to come back. Bannon's been took off as well for Penne. So that is a very ballsy move by Moore, taking off the captain for Penner, while Dunkler is just sat on the bench. But let's see if we can turn it around in the second half. And it's full time, and it's a 3-0 win for Reading. The defence does not know what to do. It's out of position all the time. It's because we don't have Westwood at the back shouting at him. It's bloody Wildsmith. He's a good shot stopper, but he just doesn't shout at all. He's not vocal. One beat. I think this result is just a nail in the coffin now. And we've got Norwich as the next game. And they've won seven out of seven games recently. That is absolutely outstanding. And we've lost five in a row. Five in a row. I think that's got to be a club record that I don't think we've ever been this shocking in the championship. And yes, he knew it was going to happen. Lucas Jow scored for them again. And then to make the result even more embarrassing, you done scores. It is absolutely poor from this Wednesday side. And yet Chanzira still makes us pay Premier League prices. No sponsorship on the kit. Not actual like an Adidas, Joma, Nike, Puma. We don't even have a manufacturer. It's bloody Chanziri's company, I swear. Elevate. It's just no youth system. They got smacked 5 0 from Leicester in their last game under 23s. There's just no sense of future prospect for Wednesday. We just have to look for League One now and hopefully get a good core squad and get back in the Championship first season. I hope we don't become a Wigan, get a double relegation, but I don't think we're going to be that bad, surely. There's just such a disconnection from the fans, from the players. They don't care if the club gets relegated. They're probably moving on to another club soon, because all the, they're all out of contract. So they don't care if we get relegated. It's the fans that have to take it from other clubs, bantering us, the grief. It's just shocking. I just hope this relegation, if we do get relegated, just makes Chanzira actually think about the club and actually makes it sustainable because there's nothing happening in the club. Nothing's exciting anymore. We've got no future plans from Chanzira. 
no youth system set up properly. It's just all wrong. And if we do get relegated, who are we going to sign? Because there's no attraction to Wednesday now. We, everyone says we're a sleeping giant, we're a big club. These players just don't show it, do they? Yeah, and Norwich, it's just going to be an odd game, isn't it? But it's going to be a typical Wednesday if we beat Norwich now. But I just don't see that happening at all. It's just absolutely poor, shocking. <laughs> I say it every week, embarrassing, because it is. It's just getting beyond a joke now. But League One, we're coming for you. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Because every week, I have to react to this shy, <laughs> poor Wednesday team. And as always, see you to the next one. Bye.